Welcome to 2477 Pine Bar in Meridian. This is a stunning single level, three bedroom, two bath home with a three car garage plus room for a boat or a smaller RV at the end of a cul-de-sac in Meridian, Idaho. Very close to the hospitals, shopping, freeway access, and yet very quiet. This house also was recently painted interior and exterior. Has 1,832 square feet and also has a f uh, formal dining and an office. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, walking up to the front door, you'll notice that we've got the glass block around the windows, I mean around the entryway which will bring in a lot of nice natural light into the house. It's nice and wide. Come on inside, you have a little bit of inlaid glass here. And when you come in, right off to our right is the formal dining. This obviously could be also a formal living room as well. Lots of light, all the blinds are installed. We have the uh, extra tall ceilings in here like I said new paint as well two-tone we have the tile entry at the front also have a coat closet and you'll notice vaulted ceilings in here and plant shelves in the family room ceiling fans. I just love the windows. I love the fact they go almost all the way from uh, ceiling to floor, floor to ceiling. We have a fireplace. It'd be easy enough if you wanted to, to uh, install a TV over where that picture currently is. And a, just a very spacious family room. Notice the flat panel electrical. views of the private backyard just a very open floor plan there's your eating space and notice that you don't have to walk you know directly in the path of the table to get out through the back door you've got plenty of space there and over to the kitchen which has a huge island with room seating for four those grandkids or kids there. There's the drop ceiling there. Drop soffit ceiling. I love the fact that there is a window right over the sink. So you're, as you're doing dishes or rinsing things off or preparing food, you have a nice view outside. And again, all the blinds are installed. Notice how light and bright the house is. Okay, over here we have built-in art nook shelves. Also again, a better look at the uh, plant shelves around the family room here. There is an outlet up top there. So if you wanted to illuminate it, you could. Here is the office. It's got the two glass doors. Currently, there's two desks in here, so you see the amount of space we have. And a closet, so technically it could be a fourth bedroom. And we'll go down the hallway here. And immediately to the left, out to the garage, we have the laundry room. It's a nice little place to hang some clothes. It has a sink has vinyl flooring. There's a closet here. Plenty of storage, every square foot used in this house. And bedroom number one. Again, the two-tone paint it has the white lid, white trim. And that is a double bed, I believe. So you can see how big that room is. Here's the next room, it's about the same size as well. It's 
spacious. This has the mirrored closets here. And we'll head over to the guest bathroom. I love the fact that it's away from the kitchen and the family room for privacy. It's a full shower here. And I love the fact it also has a skylight. So you'll find yourself reaching for the light uh, switch. And you don't need to. We'll try to keep the realtor out of the picture here. All right, now we head into the master bedroom. And you see nice big windows, ceiling fan. I didn't even turn on the lights. We've got the uh, vaulted ceiling in here as well with the plant belt. Try not to make it too busy here in my low budget production. This is a queen size bed in here right now, but you can see how much space we still have for a king if you wanted to. Nice big closet. I think I'll have to show you the inside of this because it's bigger than what you might think. So if we'll step back here and give you an idea. Goes all the way in, stays nice and tall. Plenty of room in that closet. All right, and the last part of the house is taken into the master bath. Has a his and her sink, or as I jokingly say, a hers and her sink. It also has the uh, little kind of a private toilet area. Also has a uh, nice shower unit here. Plenty wide, low step, and also has a jetted tub with a glass block. So just again, just brings in lots of natural light. It's a fairly low step here as well, which is nice to be able to get in without needing a ladder. And now we'll head outside. Okay, we're going to head outside and take a look. Notice here on the back door, also has a little extra security feature with the pin, which is nice. Now we are facing north, so this should stay shaded almost the entire day on your covered back patio. I'll give you a good look at the backyard, mature landscaping, pretty low maintenance. Again, you've got the covered roof patio here. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning right now, middle of September. Notice the curbing. And we'll go around the back here. See the back side. It's very peaceful out here. Give you a look over the back fence. You have no rear neighbors back there. You gotta go out pretty far to see any. Definitely nobody looking in your backyard or balls flying over the fence. Got some grapes here. Wow, they're flush with grapes right now. Tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes. It's a better look at the, the back side here. We have an actual Stormore shed, which is a brand of probably the best built sheds in the Boise area. And this is the other side of the house where you could park your boat. I'm told that the previous owner did have a smaller RV back here. Now some of the newer, much wider ones would have a harder time over here. And that pretty much concludes our tour. Perhaps I'll show you really quick what the... Uh... Oh, by the way, there is a... I believe there's a newer furnace installed here as well. But you can get a full list of the details on rockidaho.com. This is what I want to show you again, just this back patio. Very tranquil. And I think that concludes the tour. Have a wonderful day. Okay, since I mentioned it, um, I'll show you the furnace. But this is the garage. You can see that you can fit a full-size truck in here. This is a big new Ford truck. Both openers are installed. The garage is finished. There are upper cabinets built in over here. There's room for a fridge and a freezer. And this is the new furnace system. And the uh, Honeywell 
air cleaner in there as well, electronic air cleaner. And you can find out more information about this when you come see the house.